accomplishments of extraordinary African-American men in our community. That's the goal of the Men of Honor Gala. It's set for next month. It's presented by the Abercrombie Group. And this year, five men will be honored for succeeding against all odds and achieving special greatness. Joining me right now with the details are Amy Hull with PayCor and Rashida Cromwell with the Greater Cincinnati Foundation. Thank you both for being here with me. Absolutely. Yes. This is a landmark event that I look forward to every year since I've lived here. It is really done so special, so well, and it, it just is a great community event. What exactly is Men of Honor for people who may not have been before, and how was it created? Yeah, um, it started in 2010. Um, Claudia Abercrombie, who runs the Abercrombie Group, uh, puts this on, and it was a way to portray the accomplishments both professionally and civically for African-American men in the community. So it's kind of like a lifetime achievement award, but it was important to do that while they're still here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, give them their flowers while they're alive uh, mm -hmm. kind of idea. And I always call it, it's like the Golden Globes because there's dinner yeah. and awards and music. It's, it's a wonderful time. Again, a really great event. And Rashida, I understand that Robert Cull Killen, excuse me, from Greater Cincinnati Foundation is being honored Tell us about why this is so des deserved for him. Oh my gosh, this is incredibly deserving. Um, Robert Killens, I'm trying to think of the right words to describe him because he has done work in the community for so long. Mm -hmm. His career actually started at Procter & Gamble and working at Greater Cincinnati Foundation has been a second career for him, but I hope I'm not speaking for him. I'm hoping this is the most fulfilling career for him. Mm. He has done everything for our organizations from community investment strategies, our grant making arms, really working closely with the not-for-profit organizations, providing coaching and capacity building. And I think it's so deserving because a lot of what Robert has done throughout his career has been quiet. He is kind of a behind the scenes sort of guy, but he has done so much for the important work that we do at Greater Cincinnati Foundation, everything from education to housing, um, to making sure that people are even fed in our community. He has worked across the board throughout all of those sectors with our not-for-profit organizations. So this is so, so well deserved. And and Amy, who are the other honorees that people can look forward oh to? Oh my goodness, there's so there's so there's four, I believe, other men. Mm -hmm. Um and, and I'm gonna I'm probably gonna flub on all of their <laughs> names, but I will know I do know there are people come there's a man coming from the gospel mission. Mm -hmm. Um gospel. Mm -hmm, and Pilgrim Missionary Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. Uh that's Dr. Jonathan Brown, I believe. And then there's Rodell McCullough and, and several others coming from Centos, uh, Metro Sorta, from all different parts of the city. Yeah. And hopefully you'll flash the flyer so everybody can we see the pictures. We absolutely will, we absolutely will. So why, Rashida, is it so important for GCF to support this event? Sure, and I'll let you in on a little secret. GCF actually doesn't support many events. You know, mm -hmm. we are really making large, deep, big investments in the community. So event sponsorship hasn't been our sweet spot. And I say that with the big exception that men of honor, absolutely, we have supported it since the beginning. Mm -hmm. And it's because it's so unique. <clears throat> it's really about uplifting and honoring those who are doing the great work. It's creating connectivity in our community. It's thinking about, we often um, hear so many negative stories about the way we're portrayed, and this really switches the dial on that. And think about the positive things that are happening in our community, the folks who are doing it, the men, and the, all the people in the community behind them making that happen. So it has been incredibly important for us to support Men of Honor. I'm telling you, that just speaks to how special this event is. If you're ending gala season and saying, I didn't get to get out to one, or I went to several, this is the one that you want to end with on a, on a really positive note. Absolutely. Amy, Rashida, thanks so much for being here Thank with you. us. Thank you. Um, here is a look at the honorees. Men of Honor is happening November 16th at the Sharonville Convention Center. It runs from 6 to 10 p.m. And you can find more information at the abercrombiegroup.com slash men of honor. And we will have all of this on our website, wlwt.com. Of course, it's going to be a great event. And uh, the honorees will be there on our website, wlwt.com. Thanks again, ladies. Now, listen things over to me.